Hello, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do a shave video. But first, I'm going to wet the face. Can you believe it's Sunday already? <laughs> I can. Well, did you see that? <laughs> <clears throat> Go back and, and rewind it. Maybe I'll put a little arrow there. Anyway, today we're doing a shave video and I'm going to be using Droid Black by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And this has been a, a well-weighted soap. Oh man, that is nice. It's a, a woody it's probably more of a fruity, kind of citrusy with a little woody smell in there. Man, that's excellent. Uh, and that is the homage to Floyd Black. Let's not talk about Floyd anymore, because we're using Droid Black. And I will be using the matching aftershave. <clears throat> and today, I'm going to be using the original cube, which is mentholated. Let's go ahead and get that applied here real quick. Let me get that worked in a little bit here. How are you guys doing? Did you have a good weekend? I'm going to rinse my hands here real quick. I'll be right back. And the razor I'm using is the Blackland Vector. This is an all stainless steel razor. This is my favorite single edge, and it is the open comb. Uh, I do have the, the Feather uh, Pro Blade already in there. It's hard for me to get those all lined up and putting it, you know, putting it in there and showing you. So I do have the Omega Boar Brush and my Black Frog House Shave Bowl. Man, that's kind of hard to say, Black Frog House Shave Bowl. Anyway, I have it all lathered up. This is, no, it's not. I was going to say that was a CK6 version of soap, but it's not. Anyway, I have that lathered and ready to go. And uh, let's go ahead and get the lather applied to the face. Man, that soap. That came in the other day, and I let my wife smell it. And <clears throat> I remember her reaction when I had the sample of it. But her reaction for this was a very positive reaction. She liked it before, but for, for this particular, just smelling it out of the tub, she was like, ooh. I really like that. She's like, what is that? And I'm like, that's the soap I've been waiting for. Douglas finally released it. <laughs> let's go ahead and wet the razor. And let's go with pass one with the green. Oh, yeah. Man, that is one smooth razor and blade combination. I do have two days worth of growth there. Did I tell you I, I really enjoy using this razor? <laughs> been watching Chris over there on IMCDB. And he's been flaunting this razor around in that titanium version. <clears throat> And it made me think, I better get mine back out. I don't have the titanium version. I like the stainless steel version. And for me, you know, a lot of guys that get the titanium razor, they like it for the weight. So it's going to be kind of in between the stainless weight and the aluminum weight. So it's kind of, you know, stainless is heavier. Aluminum's pretty light. The titanium's kind of a fine in-between. 
for me, the aluminum razors, uh, um, not that I'm leery of them, but I know that aluminum is softer. And so if you drop it or hit it on something, <clears throat> you do have a, a, a chance of damaging it to where titanium or stainless. I would venture to say you could probably run over it with your car and it would be pretty safe. Just my opinion, of course. Notice that black frog house bowl every once in a while. I get a little black paint flake coming off of it. And that's not good. Man, that soap is just so smooth. Gotta rinse my hands off. I don't know why I tell you I gotta rinse my hands off because I can edit that out and you don't really want to hear me talk about <laughs> rinsing my hands off. Uh, well, yesterday. My wife and I went out on a little Jeep ride, took the top off and doors off, went, went for a little ride. Beautiful. Should I put a photo right here? We went to Inspiration Point and it is just a nice, natural, scenic view. I was thinking about doing a shave video out there sometime. I may wait until a little bit closer to fall when uh, all the trees start yellowing or the leaves and stuff are yellowing up and, and getting all orange because it's so beautiful out there. You know, a lot of people think, oh, Southern Illinois, what's there? Well, if you're into nature and outdoors, it's a great place to be. Let's go for pass two across the green. <clears throat> this razor makes quick work of the shave <laughs> for sure I can feel the menthol kicking in off of the ice cube Did I say ice cube? I meant the cube. Smooth, you can't even hear cutting. <laughs> wow. Like I said, I do enjoy the game changer, but that whew, I got a bowl hiller for ugh, man, I'm tongue twister today. A bowl full of cold water here off camera to do a cold water rinse. <clears throat> Tone Twister Sunday. Not sure why. <laughs> All right. And I have an ice cube here for my post shave. Follow that up, I'm gonna use the Lancaster black sheep towel. And this one was uh, on that last drop, which he said it was the bad sheep. Uh, and I guess they had some, some dyeing issues or something, but he said this one may not be uh, a perfect dye. But to me, it's actually a little darker than the other one that I had, but 
I don't see any imperfections in that. And it works so well. I don't care if it's got a little inconsistency in the color. It makes it unique. I guess that's why they call it the bad sheet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply the matching splash. You ever notice on these new ones, the, uh, the little seal in the top cap sometimes comes off? I don't know why it does that. Maybe because it's new. What am I going to use here? Would you guess? Some star jelly. I know uh, I'd mentioned before I'm getting close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. And uh, I think I'm going to be giving away. Well, I know I'm going to be doing a giveaway. But one of the things I'm going to put in the giveaway is some star jelly. Because I want to share the love. Excellent shave. What can I say? Have you guys got the droid black? What do you think of it? Excellent. I love that smell. I'd actually debated on purchasing two sets just in case I run out or I doubt that Douglas is going to discontinue that, but you never know in the shave world. So I will put a picture right here of everything that I use today. And I'd like to say thank you to all the subscribers and the people returning to view my videos. Thank you. And I will see you on Will It Shave Wednesday. You have a good one. It's a little windy out here, but I won't drop my phone.